Linkvolt is connected, connected to the internet, connected to the world, connected to the service centers, connected to fuel centers, and intelligent, and supplies the driver with all the information required. To tell you about the intelligence on board Linkvolt, I would like to introduce you to team member Paul Perone of Perone Robotics. There you go, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm the, uh, the guy responsible for Linkvolt's brain. This is uh, something that you don't necessarily see in the car, but it certainly is pervasive. Uh, we also call it the LID, the Linkvolt Intelligent Dashboard. And what the LID is comprised of is essentially a, a few key components. Um, uh, what we call intelligent controls, of course, network connectivity, uh, perception, and autonomy. Now, the key for intelligent controls and, and to have an intelligent controls hub is to really integrate all these disparate uh, heterog heterogeneous components that are in the car. We have a capstone turbine uh, generator. We have a UQM uh, motor to power the car. We've got a battery management system. So we need a hub that knows how to talk to these different systems and communicate with them and gather data and do things, for example, like when the batteries go too low, we go through a, a startup process for the, the, the turbine. When the batteries come up to a charge level, we'll, we'll start to shut the turbine down. Uh, we do other things like drive uh, these custom non-stock gauges that are in the car to communicate to Neil and the driver uh, what the current power consumption is, if there are any warnings, uh, are the batteries too hot, are they too low, um, all the things that uh, you have to do with these kind of electric vehicles that uh, currently aren't uh, prolific in the marketplace. And we're also pushing data, uh, more detailed information to an onboard um, a touch screen and into the, into the web. We're streaming all this information to the web so that folks can ride along with Linkvolt and see what it's doing and we can track its performance over time um, based on changes we make and, and different environmental conditions. The, uh, the next component that's very important is perception. Um, not just GPS uh, for position or inertial nav sensors for orientation, but to enable the car to perceive what's going on in its environment, we're adding lasers into the grill and other types of proximity sensors around the car so that we can know where other things are in, in relation to the vehicle, where uh, cars are in front of the vehicle so that we can do things like a smart or adaptive cruise control. Uh, we can pace the car uh, and then even take it beyond that. We want to take it far beyond just those those uh, more simplistic uh, autonomous mechanisms and go into autonomous steering controls so that we can now enable the car eventually to become a fully autonomous vehicle. And we're transitioning some of the technology from the DARPA Grand Challenge and Urban Challenges that I worked on into this project to bring Linkvolt to the next level where it is essentially a fully autonomous self-driving robotic car. The idea being really um, that this is the future of personal transportation. Uh, the car will uh, do the clean driving and you will do the clean living. Uh, unless, of course, you're you know, not sober and then the car just drives you home. So these are all good things um, that, that are coming down the pike with the future of uh, this kind of technology. And we're, we're pleased to be part of it. We've got a, a, an extended range electric vehicle software platform that we think is, uh, is really, uh, really kind of cool. We can do a lot of things with a lot of different components and we're happy to be here to share that with folks. And, and also talk with folks to bring more partners and sponsors into the project. Uh, um, uh, we have our linkvolt.com site and we'll also be here at the booth. So we really want to build the community and get more folks involved with the development of this vehicle and share what we're learning uh, as well with the community. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. That was great. So what have we accomplished? Did we just have a good time or what? Mm -hmm.